In this video, we're going to be using FreeCAD 0.19.1, the latest um, stable release. And we're going to be using that to create a domino holder. So I'm going to do it in a way that I'm going to assume you know how to use the basics of FreeCAD. So I'm going to create a new part here uh, using my macro. And I'm going to allow that to create a part. We're going to call it, let's pop it in here where I like to keep my stuff. I'm going to call it Domino Holder New. I have actually practiced this. So I've done a couple of these. So I will tell you that whenever you see me doing this stuff, a lot of times I've actually done it once or twice before. Uh, so I make sure there are no unexpected issues. However, I am creating this uh, from scratch, as you see. Uh, this is a brand new model and I'm just going to use my sketched out um, dimensions to be able to create it. I want to show you how to get from nothing to a 3D printed model fairly quickly. So here we go. So I'm going to do an XY plane sketch. And I know what I want to do is I'm actually going to create three of these boxes and they're to hold dominoes. So I have a set of train dominoes and in the box that they came in they're just all loose so when you get them out they're all messed up and they're all the wrong way up and it just it's not fun to to set them up so okay we're going to make a quick box shape so we're going to select the box pop that down there we're going to select that point and we're going to make sure we select that point and that center point and we're going to make that symmetrical then we're going to just apply a couple of dimensions i know i want that one to be 60 and we're going to apply a dimension this way. I know I want that to be 180. That's it. And then I'm going to pad that. I'm going to pad it 42 millimeters. And I'm going to, one thing I want to do when I go into that pad is I want to reverse that so that we can do a sketch on the surface. Say, OK going to create a new sketch, going to pop everything in the middle here. Uh, new sketch is going to be on the XY plane. And it's going to be just a basic domino. So that is my basic domino there. And I'm going to take that point and that point and make it symmetrical around that line. Then I'm just going to throw on a couple of dimensions. And I want that to be 54. And I know I want this to be 28. And I know I want a dimension that goes from that point to this outside point of 87. What that's going to do is going to make that wall 3 millimeters thick. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to pocket that one. I want to pocket 40 millimeters. And there we have the first pocket. So now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'll select that. I will hit this guy. And we're going to make six of these pockets. And they need to be spread 146 millimeters across. And that will give me six even holes into my holder. Then what I want to do is create another sketch. I'm going to create that in the middle here. So we'll just create a sketch. We're going to use this plane here. And we'll say OK. And what we're going to do is we are going to create a sketch using this tool. I'm going to go this way. Of course, we can't see the sketch yet until we hit this guy. That allows us to look halfway down. So now I know I want a dimension um, from here to here. Actually, what I first what I want to do is I want to make this symmetrical. So I'm going to take this guy this guy and this line and make that symmetrical. I'm going to take this guy 
and this guy and this line and make that symmetrical too. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to position this uh, from here to here. That's the depth that I want this thing to be. So I know this is this goes 40 deep. So I want um, a 3 mil on the bottom there. So I'm going to go 37 deep. And then I am going to dimension... Actually, I'm just thinking about this out loud. I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do that angle. I'm going to do this dimension here. And I want to take that out to maybe 30. And then this guy and this guy and make those equal. I'm going to take this guy and this guy, give it an angle. I'm going to call that 100 degrees. And then I'm just going to give it a height. And this height is arbitrary because it's cutting all the way through. So let's give it a height just to give it make it fully constrained so I'm, I'm not even going to change that height it doesn't really matter so now I have my sketch to cut out I am going to pocket that and I'm going to pocket it symmetrically and I'm going to pocket it for 50 millimeters there we go just enough so it goes through all of those and that basically gives me my holders then there's one more thing I want to do to make this um, work out the way I want it. I'm going to add another sketch on the XY plane, say OK, and I'm going to put a hole through there. And that hole I'm going to dimension, I always dimension diameters as a diameter rather than a radius, and I'm going to make that a uh, 22 mil hole and I'm going to position it from the center point that center point to that center point now if I know this is three millimeters and I know this is 28 so that will give me 14 and 3 so that would be 17 take that away from 90 because it's a 180 length. So I'm going to take that away from 90. 90 minus 17 is 73. Say so, OK. And now I know that's in the middle. So that's good. I'm going to close that. I'm going to pocket that. And I'm just going to say through all. That is done. And then, of course, we are going to do another linear pattern. We need six. And we need the same dimensions there. I'm just going to bring it over here in the middle. Zoom in. Let's Nice. And there you can see I got my six holes are all done. Say OK. And then the final step is to add some radii. So I'm going to do that to this edge. Select my edge first. And I'm going to make that radius six millimeters. And I'm going to add this edge, this edge. this edge, this edge, Let's turn it around there, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. And just say OK. 
And there is our holder. And everything there, now we've done it, everything there has, they're all the same size. It's all we did is we created this one and we've basically made a linear pattern with that. And that's all there is to it. We take the end game here. We should, probably should do a save, so I'm going to do that. Just a control S is a save. Then I'm going to file export and just export in this as a, an STL. And I'm just going to call it Domino New Pop Fillet STL. Leave it in my FreeCAD folder. That'll be fine. And I'm going to save that. Okay, so now in the Prusa slicer, I'll show you how I slice model up in the Prusa slicer. I've been using the Prusa slicer recently because I was using Cura, I've used Cura for a long time, and it's just gradually got more and more bloated. The problem with it is it takes so long to start up and it takes so long to do anything. I just decided um, it's time for a change. So I tried this Prusa slicer and I really like it. You basically say file, import file, an STL, and here's my domino new part um, holder. There it is. You can see it sitting in there. If I go to this view, I can see the part, and I can run down the slice. So I can see how it's actually slicing. I have all the... Um, settings here that I need so I can set this up I'm not going to do a 60% infill for this I'll just do a 15% infill and then I can slice it and there I can see that it's sliced it's going to take five hours to to make one and I can see exactly what it's going to look like and you can you can do all your printer settings from here so my layer height is 0.3 um, I can set up my temperatures my infill all that stuff I can do from here. Uh, there's lots of buttons to click. It actually has three modes as well. So you can take it in the simple mode or the expert mode or the advanced mode. I just leave it on expert. I don't tinker with everything all the time. Basically, once I have it set up, that's I use mostly PLA for printing. I have two TiVo Tornadoes. They're exactly the same printer. So I have this all set up the same way. I export my G-code. And once I've done that, I can basically print on either printer. And I use OctaPrint just to send it to the printer. And, and that's basically it. I'll show you OctaPrint here in a second. So this is my OctaPrint. Basically, I have one of my printers is called Carlos. The other one is called Amelia. And the one has the blue top here. Amelia has a green. And actually, my MPCNC, my CNC router, has a red one and it looks very very similar to this so when I'm in it all I need to do is I upload my file and print and we're away so uh, I'm not going to print one of these right now but I will be printing one more later on I'll show you one that I've already printed so this is Carlos actually printing one of the trays I have printed all three of them so Carlos printed two and Amelia printed one. As I said, they're the exact same TiVo Tornadoes. I just happen to have two of them. So I print on a glass bed and I use some glue stick, some uh, Elmer's uh, school glue, just to put on the bottom, just to hold the thing down. And typically it sticks to the bed pretty well. And I find that uh, my prints are generally easy to get off to. And here is the printed part. Basically it has all the dominoes in it right now. And you can see the holes in the back. And it's set up so that I can, I can lift out these dominoes. That's why we have that spacer in between. But it does hold them all nice and organized. And then there'll just be three packs of that. Now in my set of dominoes, there's actually 91 dominoes. That means there's going to be one that isn't in one of these holders. And that will go in the train, the central part of the train in my domino set. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was uh, fun to make. I needed the 
the part so I figured I would just make a video of the my process of creating this 3D printing and show you a little bit of the linear pattern which I think is a really powerful piece uh, inside of FreeCAD. So if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and if you would subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and please take a look at our affiliate links below that helps the channel if you buy something from uh, those links that will really help us uh, in buying the bits and pieces we need to make these videos even better thanks